Unless data centers like this one are shut down, we'll have no water to drink and no electricity to power our homes. Except, that's a lie. A proposed data center campus in New Mexico would use around 7 million gallons of water per year. That sounds like a lot, until you realize that a single desert golf course uses about a million gallons of water per day. All in all, data centers use 0.2% of the 322 billion gallons of water that Americans use every single day. The share of electricity used by data centers is a lot greater than their water usage, around 4% in 2023 and a projected 12% by 2028. Plus, it's painfully slow to increase electricity generation and transmission on the grid. So why not just bypass the grid? 30% of data centers announced in 2024 are projected to use on-site plants as their primary energy source by 2030. That means that they won't add strain to the grid that you and I use to boil our water, heat our homes, and charge our phones. And there's always nuclear. By 2035, data centers could get an additional 10% of their energy from a combination of small modular reactors, bringing retired plants back online, and optimizing ones that are already operational. Since the Industrial Revolution, people have have worried about depleting the world's energy supply. But energy has become more abundant as entrepreneurs have discovered new sources of energy and more efficient ways of using it. I don't doubt it sucks to live right next to a data center, just like it sucks to live right next to an airport, a steel mill, or a scrapyard. But if all of this is pretty normal, why are some acting like it's the end of the world?